Hey guys, it's Cassie, and today I'm going to show you how I got this look. Kind of an everyday makeup kind of tutorial, but not my everyday makeup. It's just um, more natural looking, um, apart from the lip. But yeah, so I was missing some footage. I That was my mistake. I messed up and lost the footage. You don't see a lot of my... You actually don't see how I apply my foundation or any of that stuff, but... That's okay, I didn't want to like completely just trash it and then start over tomorrow and I, I followed through a somewhat failed video but that's okay. If you want to see how I got myself looking snatched, um, continue watching. Y'all don't know how frustrated I am right now. I went to answer a text and I thought my footage would still be there when I came back and it's gone. I'm gonna continue because I feel like my foundation that I am wearing is the Dream Wonder by Maybelline in the shade Coconut. Looks nice. I use that on like the edges of my face and then I use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in um, EM Beige, I think, and then my Milani foundation in tan to lighten the other one up, the other foundation, because it was too dark. And I use the NYX Cream Blush in Grow, I mean Glow, and that's where we are now. I'm upset. I'm not starting over though. Oh, as I was saying before I got really cut off, I'm going to set my face using the airspun powder and translucent extra coverage. Uh, I don't bake because I'm not trying to look like, um, I mean I did bake in the other tutorials, but my flawless routine, that's a no. So I already, oh no I didn't apparently, you blend out the creases under your eye and then set it. No, that's too much. You just want to set it. I'm just going to pat the powder in directly under my eye. Blend out the creases around your mouth and set that too. I'm, I'm, I'm setting, I'm pressing it into under my lip because I have a lot of um, bumps right there. I don't know what they're from, but that's okay. Set my eyelids. And my eyebrow too because my eyebrows won't stick unless I set them because I put foundation on first. So you gotta put powder over your eyebrows or else you just look weird. I look weird right now. I'm upset. Next I'm gonna take a powder brush, like a flimsy powder brush from Glam and Beauty. I'm just gonna tap in there. You see I got that much. I'm just gonna tap it off in the lid because I don't need that much right now. I'm just gonna run this over my forehead. Um, I'm gonna fork um, kind of focus it on the places where I'm going to be blending because I don't want to look too dry and crusty. Oh. <sighs> so. Your cheeks. Fix your mood, Cassandra. Okay, Cassandra. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to do them on camera because I just have that much time now. You know? Since I lost footage. I'm taking the spoolie I took from the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara and or I just rinsed off the brush and then yeah so brush up your brows I could make a separate eyebrow routine tutorial because you know that includes cleaning up and setting and stuff but I can't really get I'm not going into depth right now I just want you to see Just fill it in, you know what I mean? Some girls don't want to just do that simply. They want to go overdraw and do all that, which is totally fine. It's fine. The airspun powder really messes with my eyes. I think my dad's going to bring me Starbucks, and I'm excited. My brother's coming home tomorrow from Rhode Island, and we're about to, about to turn up. No, I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. Comment down below if you want the blind makeup challenge. I could do that. Just set my my mirror right here and try to do my makeup from this far you know this is literally supposed to be a video on my flawless foundation routine and you didn't see it oh also i set with the baby skin primer from maybelline and i moisturized with the fab um ultra repair cream yo my neck i have a major whiplash or something i slept wrong i had a volleyball game today and it was really good if i do say so myself we won um, I was so proud. A lot of people came through. It was, there was a really good volley. 
Um, I also might inc include a clip of that if I feel like it, but there was a really good volley and it was amazing. <laughs> Wow, good volley. So there are the eyebrows done in like three minutes. Next I'm gonna set it with the Essence Make Me Brow. Um, low key, I only bought this because Chloe Morello suggested it. And she uses it all the time, but I kind of don't know what this does. It's supposed to be like fibers, which kind of puts me off because I don't know how I'm supposed to set my eyebrows with fibers. If my dad brings me Starbucks and calls me downstairs, I'm going to be like every beauty girl there ever was. Drinking. I got called. Yo. I'll be right back. So, I thought that I was just going to bring me Starbucks, but... Turns out we're just gonna go drive there and get the Starbucks. So <sighs> my face looks so flat right now. Like, can I please? Oh my gosh. If um, you haven't noticed, I have changed my clothes. So cool story, right? My brother's girlfriend Jordan um, brought me her Morphe palette that she wasn't using because. Um, five eyeshadows broke in it, and she didn't really reach for it, so she gave it to me. It's a 35K. Looks like this. I'm gonna try experimenting with it a lot, because it has a lot of, um, cool tones in it, which I tend not to use that much. Like, um, well, I use cool tones, just not like these, you know, like actual grays and stuff. But I'm really excited to use this, and it would work really well for a pale person. This eyebrow was just looking funky, like... I'm just gonna put a little slum salt in my crease because that's not the tutorial isn't really about um my eyeshadow, but maybe I should make it about my eyeshadow because you know the footage is gone. I'm just gonna take this shade right there and work that into my um crease and a little bit over, like high in my crease, you know. These are such pigmented and buttery shadows, like if you haven't tried a Morphe. Um, palette before I definitely recommend it. Oh, I'm, I didn't show you so just to darken that up a little bit. I took This shade which is um, another warm tone I'm supposed to be experimenting, but I don't know if this is the time. So yeah, I'm just trying to like get definition in my crease That's pretty much it. I'm not really trying to create a full-on eye look So yeah I'm bringing that all the way in um, nothing really fancy take an eco tools brush Oh, mm. did I drop it? Where'd it go? Where'd the brush go, bro? Bro, you know when you drop something and that stuff just disappears? Cause that's what just happened. Like it just disappeared. <laughs> I'm taking this really fluffy brush that has like an angle. I, I think I got this from the um, makeup room at school. And yeah, it's equal tools though. Just so you know. I'm just blend that out. It's really, it's clean. So I'm just using it to blend. Now, if I have time next year, of course on the first day of school I'm gonna go full glam. Like, you know that. I just hope you know. Yeah, maybe next year if I wanna start doing more with my makeup, just cause, I'll do this like every day, but. Probably not. I'm taking um, this skin tone shade. I'm not gonna show you because I got bored. I... Wow, my brush just did a flip. Okay, I'm just gonna do my mascara. So I'm gonna curl them. After you do that, you wanna get your mascara. I'm using the Better Than Sex by Too Faced. Um, I got I have the miniature size because that's the most affordable one. It's $12, and the full one is $22, I think. And how I apply my mascara is just like up and down straight. I don't wiggle it because I noticed that when you wiggle, it kind of like pushes this eyelash against. Its like the eyelashes against each other and you have to work to get it separated. I don't really have to do that if I just go straight up and down with my mascara, but yeah. 
Um, I kind of feel like putting another mascara on, not gonna lie. My Scandalize by Rimmel, Curve Alert, these one, this one. Um, that dried out too, and the brush got all weird, so I added contact solution. I don't know, and it looks like brand new. That's a fat brush, so I wouldn't use this on my bottom lashes. Just gonna put this for more, um, volume. The foundation on my nose is getting really weird because of the primer, but yeah, that's okay. Okay, moving on to the face and <laughs> the exciting part. I'm so excited. Okay, guys, so, um, to my black girls out there, I don't know if you knew this, but the cover girl came out with a like a while ago, they came out with the Queen Collection, right? And I was looking all over the place um, for where I could get it. And either they didn't carry it in stores. Like, I know Walgreens didn't carry it in stores. They might have it now. I don't know. But, like, they didn't carry it in stores. So I went into Walmart today. And I was just talking about this bronzer yesterday with my cousin Lucina. And I was talking about how I can, I was, like, it was on my list. But, I mean, I might end up getting the NYX Contour Palette, which I might still end up getting. But girl, I found it at Walmart and look at that color. Like, this is the ebony bronze. I think this might be the darkest one. I probably could have gone for a shade lighter, but I really want to look chiseled and stuff. And I don't know what the pigmentation is like, so yeah. I'm just gonna go in and if I mess up, that's okay. Yo! This actually works! Okay, I'm gonna tap some off though, cause I took too much. Bruh. I'm so happy. This is so cute. I love this. I might be going like overboard or no, I'm okay. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if I really have a nose contour brush or anything and I, I'm just going to try it out. Like I don't really contour my nose on the regular, but yeah. So I'm just going to take this flat foundation brush, dab in there a little bit, a little bit, tap it off. Yo, this is so, like the pigmentation on this is really nice. Actually, now that I'm looking at my face, I could have gone, um... Hypothetically, I probably could have gone for a different shade because this is coming off kind of red on me. But yeah, I, I recommend this bronzer. I already really love it. It's going to be like a... I feel like it's going to be something I wear during school too. That looks good on my nose. Ow! Yo, I slept weird. I'm just putting a little bit because this blush, as you know, is a beauty control tootsie. It's a little reddish, so I'm not going to put too much on. Especially with this bronzer action going on. Do you know how happy I am? Because I feel like you guys don't understand. Like, I don't, I don't think you fully comprehend. Take my beauty control herbal hydrating mist. And I'm just going to use, like, um, it's been a couple hours since I put my foundation on. So it's kind of already settling in. But I'm going to use it to for my highlight to be a little more popping. It's kind of red. That's okay. <laughs> I thought, and, um, no more comments. So get your fan brush. Mine is a nail art brush, and I'm using my Laura Geller oh, Gilded Honey highlight. I feel like if you're any darker than me, this wouldn't work. Obviously, you try what you want with your makeup. I'm not your mother. I'm, <sighs> look at that. Messing with the lighting and everything. Okay. Coming to the end of the tutorial. I think I'm already done. I might put on. Should I put on lipstick? I really want to put on my signature shade from seventh grade. Like, I don't know if you're gonna watch this, but um, my I just my friends Zoe and Loriana, they used to always remind me in choir, like in chorus. Um, when I wasn't wearing my signature shade, they'd be like, "Where's your lipstick?" And I'm like, "Oh, it's in my bag." So I put it on, cause this is my signature shade, and it's not even. A popular brand. It's Giorgio Giordano, Giordano color, and this shade is called Lover. Hold on, let me line my lips first. Um, this is another one from Beauty Control, I think. This is their lip shaping crayon and Berry. That's it for today's tutorial. Um, I hope it helped in some way. Like, just one way. 
please. It was kind of to focus on the foundation and how I get my skin look and like whatever but you know most of you know how to apply foundation and if you don't just comment down below if this didn't help you and I will create another video that's just foundation like tips, tricks, um, I feel like I should do a do's and don'ts video. That'd be so exciting. Should I do that? I think I'm gonna do that. So just comment down below any video requests, um, what you want to see up next. Uh, like and subscribe. Links to my social media will be down below. Thank you for watching. Bye.